the MoveYourCamera.com slider is an affordable and versatile piece of gear. It moves on eight precision rolling wheels and has a cheese plate camera mount. It's designed to roll on a surface like a piece of wood. And adjustment knobs allow you to change its width to fit rolling surfaces of different sizes. You can also invert the camera mount and use just the top wheels for rolling on a flat tabletop or smooth wood floor, for example. This setup with the Manfrotto flat surface to bowl adapter and tripod head are not included with the slider. My slider for the center mover rig started out as two pieces of three quarter inch by eight inch by six foot clear pine lumber. Clear pine is a little more expensive, well, it's a lot more expensive than the cheap stuff, but you can get it straight, flat, and warp free. Now I've got two pieces that I put together and laminated together Got a lot of screws holding it and glue and whatnot. And that makes for a very, very strong assembly. In addition, if you look at the end of the board, you can see where both pieces were laminated together with the grain opposite each other. And what this means is the wood has a tendency to warp in a, in a predictable way with the grain. And by putting them opposite like that, the warping fights the other warping and it tends to cancel each other out so you got a better chance this is going to stay straight and and smooth and warp free through the duration of when you're going to be using it. As for the mounts over here on the A end I'm calling the end that the main support like the tripod will go on the A end and this is simply a quarter inch steel plate drilled out with 3 8 16 and a quarter 20 holes and the holes are spaced out so that if you have a mounting plate, for example, that has two different size screws available, it provides a good secure mount for that. This is mounted about a foot in from one end. Now the opposite end of the slider has another quarter inch steel plate, drilled and tapped 3 8 16 and a quarter 20. And this can be used to mount a simple tripod or a light stand or something like that for support. And it also has this Matthews 5 8 inch receiver, which allows you to mount this on the top of, for example, a uh, C stand for a really secure fit. The bump stop at the end is a 5 16 inch carriage bolt. Which is easy to remove. Slip on a rubber sleeve. And that keeps the equipment from caterwauling onto the floor. What? You've never seen a piece of expensive equipment go caterwauling onto the floor? It's not for the faint of heart. Set up and ready to go looks a little bit like this. Got about five feet of travel end to end. You can mount it on a tripod, mount this end on a tripod, a light stand, a C stand like here. It can be placed right on the ground, set on a couple of apple boxes, any number of mounting op options on this. And the price is pretty much right. The dolly was $127 roughly. Two pieces of really nice quality white pine clear or clear pine wood, $32. The steel stock to make the plates, about $9.50. And this Matthews 5 8 inch mount receiver here, that was about $32, $36. So total cost is about $204.50, not counting labor. Now I did give it a couple coats of varnish because uh, it sort of helps protect the wood. And just because it's a tool doesn't mean it doesn't necessarily have to look good. Um, and that's about it. Works great. Looking forward to applying it to my next project.